Hello, vinyl community, and welcome, YouTubers from everywhere. Going to show a little bit of a soundtrack collection today that could be a soundtrack from a movie, from a Broadway show, whatever. Till recently, I didn't have a separate soundtrack category. I usually just featured them in with the uh, wherever they went, um, and you'll hear a little bit more about that in the future. Uh, a number of these records, uh, when I go through a few here in the first, and then I'm going to do just a little quick flip video through the bin over there uh, to give you a little taste and fun. And one of the things that motivated this, again, uh, my store was having a parking lot sale, and they had a lot of dollar and two dollar records. And it just turned out that a bunch of the records I pulled out were soundtracks. So I thought, I need to start a soundtrack category. One of the records I got that was really a steal for $1. This is considered one of the best Alfie Sonny Rollins on the uh, Impulse label. And this is a Rudy Van Gelder record. Would be worth about $25. The record is VG++, maybe near mint minus, all except for all the way across on side B is a scratch. Side A is nearly perfect, and for a dollar you can't complain about that. A number of people have said that uh, this is one of the best sounding records you can get in, uh, on the Impulse label. I got this next record for a dollar. West Side Story, Andre Previn and his pals, Shelley Mann and Red Mitchell, on the Contemporary Records label. Now, I've got a note on here what's special about this. This record, 1960, reissue of the 56 version, the first record to record jazz in stereo, noted for superb audio and quiet pressings. This uh, record is mono, paid a dollar for it. I was watching uh, one of Michael Fremer's videos, and he was talking about this record uh, being an outstanding record. It's a box set, three LPs, Porgy and Bess, uh, with Lauren Mizell and the Cleveland Orchestra and Chorus, and he emphasized you had to get the UK pressing, not the US pressing. Well, I ordered this from England. It is the UK pressing, but I, uh, I think this is a later pressing uh, from 1976. It is a really good sounding record, and it comes with a, a really nice book with pictures and uh, all about the recording and so forth. And so I was happy to have this. This, uh, with, including postage from the UK, was about $50. Three records, but it's in... Uh, VG++ plus 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 condition, but out of the dollar bin, I got this record. Porgy and Bess. George Gershwin's original Broadway cast album. MCA Records, and uh, it says when you read the notes to this record, that this record was taken from one of the original DECA records. Now, this record for a dollar, you folks will be able to find this record. Uh, I'm sure the the Sonics are spectacular on this record. Uh, just amazing. So this is a little bit of what got me going in the soundtracks. I got a couple little special records I'm going to show you next. 2003, this movie came out. School of Rock, featuring Jack Black. I saw this movie when it came out. This was an excellent movie. I believe vinyl wasn't popular in 2003. I couldn't find any information that this soundtrack had ever been released back when the movie came out. Maybe they had a CD or something. A particular album came out in 2016, and it says music from and inspired by the motion picture. 
and it has uh, music from the School of Rock. It has The Who, it has No Vacancy, The Doors, The Band, The Cream, Led Zeppelin, The Black Keys, Stevie Nicks, No Vacancy, The Darkness, T-Rex, The Ramones, Wild Rats, School of Rock, Nice Gatefold Tip-On Jacket, I'm hoping maybe my friend Beth, she's the expert in the vinyl community on soundtracks, doesn't have this record uh, because I want to send her a couple soundtracks that she doesn't already have. And my contest I got going, she is not only the first lady to enter, she was the first entry, and I think we might think that Beth is one of our more shy members in the vinyl community, and I want to say, ladies, if Beth can do it, you can do it. We want to hear your point of view in this contest. Something else a little special about this record, it's near mint, comes on some gorgeous yellow vinyl, That's the first record. Second record, oh, kind of almost a cherry red, really pretty. And uh, I don't, oh, there you, there you can see it's etched. So we got three sides of record and we have a nice etching on uh, side D. So some great music here. A really good movie. Why didn't they come out with this darn soundtrack when the movie came out? As far as I can tell, they didn't. One of our VC members who lives in Italy, in a dialogue, he showed this record, still sealed, on the Goblin label it looks like, or maybe Goblin is the name of the group, I think. And uh, the movie was... Well, think was Profondo Rosso. This is an Italian soundtrack of an Italian movie. One of the reasons I ordered this record, which I have not opened it up and, and played it yet, it is still sealed. Uh, he has said in one of his videos that you probably won't ever hear a better sounding record than this record. Uh, the only reason it already hasn't been played is because I've picked up so darn many records in the last year. Here is a quick flip through some soundtrack records and many or most of these I've picked up for a dollar. A few of them maybe not. The Breakfast Club. You need the Breakfast Club. Here's a good one. I paid a little more for this one. Uh, only six copies of this record for sale on Discogs, Phantom of the Paradise with Paul Williams. And uh, this is a fairly scarce soundtrack. Now here's an example, Barbara Streisand, Eves Montand. On a clear day, you can see forever. I don't have these in a soundtrack category because she probably got eight or ten soundtracks from movies and shows and so forth and so I would put those in her category not in the soundtrack category. Book of Numbers featuring Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Now I'm not familiar with this movie but I should hunt for it. TCB the original soundtrack film with uh, Diana Ross, The Supremes and The Temptations. The great movie th thrillers, and this is Phase Four stereo. These things are terrific. London with ping pong stereo, and uh, I know my friend Beth collects horror movies, and if you don't have this one, you need it. One of my top ten favorite movies of all time, Caddyshack. And Caddy Chuck seems to be a guy's movie. I know in my family, all the males love this movie and all of the females don't care that much for it. 2001 A Space Odyssey, gatefold here. 
This is interesting. I saw this movie at the drive-in movie theater. I've always been a science fiction book person. This was a movie. Uh, it took everything I could do to stay to the end because it seemed to me like it was a movie about nothing and I couldn't imagine that pretty soon something wasn't going to happen. I guess I was just not sophisticated enough back then. Here's another movie I liked, Every Which Way But Loose, Eddie Rabbit, Charlie Rich, Mel Tillis, and I think you'll recognize one of those two guys there on the cover, Midnight Cowboy, original motion picture score, Everybody's Talking, sung by Nelson, uh, one of the great movies. I saw this a long time ago. And here's a fun one. Beth showed this one the other day. Crocodile Dundee. Fun movie. Fun track. Here's another good one kind of from my era. La Bamba. Richie Valens. Bunch of good music on the La Bamba soundtrack. Here's one that's really from my era, the 50s, Rock, Rock, Rock. The Woman in Red, music produced by Stevie Wonder, Down and Out in Beverly Hills. Here's another fun cover, fun movie, fun soundtrack. The Wiz, The Wizard of Oz. The other version, the Super Soul musical, it says. Song of Norway, music of Grieg with Van Cliburn and the Philadelphia Orchestra. I saw this movie in the theater. It was panned, got poor reviews, but one of the things that they said about it, the music was fantastic, and the videography and the scene, scenic, part was outstanding and it was certainly worth seeing the movie just for that. Beverly Hills Cop, <laughs> yeah, whole series of Beverly Hills Cop. Those were fun movies. Here's a guy we recognize, All the Right Moves. I don't know if I saw that movie or not. Amadeus, double LP, gatefold soundtrack. Now, Amadeus uh, is who turned me on to Mozart. I was a big Chopin guy before, and but I saw this movie and I started buying Mozart records, of which I still have quite a few. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, West of Memphis, based on a true story, uh, Voices for Justice, uh, didn't see that movie. End of the Night. Looks interesting when you look at the cover of that. I don't know that movie. Summer of 42. Michelle Legrand. Of course, I love that song and uh, I like those romantic movies. Here's another old timer one. The original soundtrack, How the West Was Won. This one has every famous actor you can name back in the day in it. It doesn't happen anymore. These are, of course, dollar bin kind of records. The unsinkable Molly Brown with Debbie Reynolds. The Music Man, one of my favorite movie musicals with Robert Preston. I've watched this many times. I love the music on this record. I have several copies. The Graduate, Simon and Garfunkel, Paul Simon, and you'll see two copies here. I have both a mono copy and a stereo copy. Here's another one, Clint Eastwood, Hugo Montenegro and his orchestra, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I thought this record might be a little scarcer, you know, I got it for a dollar, but it's pretty common and probably what's the most common soundtrack record there is. The Sting, Scott Joplin, Marvin Hamlish did the music, the music of Scott Joplin. It started a renaissance in ragtime. 
I have several copies of that. And what do we have here? We have a brand new sealed 2LP set plus 10 photographic prints. A star is born with Lady Gaga. And uh, if you don't have that one, Beth, I'll be happy to send it to you. So that's my little quick flip through my movie soundtracks. Yes, I have a lot more. They're scattered around in other categories, and I didn't go pull them out. These are just ones that I've picked up uh, here since the first of the year, and so keep them spinning, and see you all at the movies.